this may be an interesting idea for a YouTube video, but do not try this. Not at home, not anywhere else. If you don't want to explain why your house caught on fire to your insurance company or even worse to your wife. So today is the next day of the tests and the current interruption device didn't trigger back in. So the diaphragm that's inside the battery uh, plus uh, didn't uh, pop in back again. It, it rarely happens and this is the last resource safety feature. But so uh, currently it will say zero volts basically. And what I will try to do now is to bring them back to life by putting a screwdriver in the plus sign because there are small holes over there if you will be able to see this under the tabs here um, I should be able to pop the diaphragm back in and uh, note that this is not really safe in any shape or form so it will probably uh, well it, it, it disables the current interruption, interruption device so uh, it will simply uh, mean that the cell is no longer protected by it and that uh, if in case it will fail uh, the uh, yeah it, it will simply start burning let me try with a screwdriver okay so it released a little bit Okay, so the pressure is currently releasing. It smells a little bit, but nothing too serious. Maybe, maybe I will open a window. Oh yeah, so you, should, you probably can't see the voltage, but it's, well, it, it's obviously too much, but it, it's just like I left it yesterday. Yeah, let me, let me show you inside because it started bubbling a little bit. Yeah, let's remove this. You will be able to see here. It doesn't heat up, so the pressure is being gently released, hopefully. I will leave it like that for some time. I will try with the other cells. Hopefully I will bring them back to life and we'll see uh, what I can do with that next. Seems that are are working for now. Uh, let me quickly check the voltage. Yeah, that's far too much. So I will uh, put them out on the fresh air. So so <laughs> yeah, I will uh, put them out outside so they will get some fresh air and probably start burning. But we shall see in. I don't know, half an hour, maybe more. Uh, I will wait until they will start, stop uh, giving out the sound. Because the, yeah, it, it kind of smells, but it, it, it's nothing too bad. They are still pretty, yeah, pretty cold, so there's nothing wrong with their temperature. Hopefully they will air out the built up pressure during the initial charging to over 20 volts and well, they will be working more or less. We shall see. So I dropped down the voltage to a more reasonable level on the cells and this time I uh, biased the uh, thermistor with this 12 ohm resistor so it will, uh, the, the um, charger should see a higher temperature normally and should cut out sooner and the thermistor is placed between the cells so this should be also okay and I will try this now and try to heat the whole thing uh, with hair dryer and see if, uh, well, if, if the power supply will cut out Okay, as you can see here, the power supply did cut out, 
uh, this is a fault with uh, uh, with the uh, cells so yeah uh, they're still are working fine the voltage drop because it stopped charging and if I disconnect it connect it again it won't yeah it won't allow me to charge because the thermistor is too hot at the moment so it only took uh, about half a minute so let me measure the thermistor and uh, get the, uh, the its current temperature value okay so at the moment it's 8.8 .8 and uh, I will check uh, the table I mean 8.8 .8 after biasing so I will check the table uh, how does this look like 8.8 .8 is somewhere in between 28 so almost 30 degrees so it did cut out uh, if it notices the uh, increase to about 30 degrees but uh, let me just do a quick calculation and tell you what was the actual temperature so it generally seems that after a cal quick calculation uh, because this is the uh, measuring measured circuit uh, it would seem it is 33k but that would mean that because I brought it from outside and that would mean that the charger looks for a major change in the resistance so if there is an increase on the thermistor it doesn't the, the, the first uh, uh, the first set of the temperature doesn't really matter but the increase of the resistance so uh, this would mean that it is compatible with other kinds of uh, thermistors so that's, that's really good uh, at least for my case so I will do some tests discharging and charging of this cell right now and we will see how it, it will go I also noticed that it probably has a timer so if the cell is discharged I think I will be just fine charging it and leaving it on and it will simply stop charging uh, after a while so uh, l let me do some tests next I charged the cell, the charger turned off after, after about an hour, so we charged at 1.7 amps for an hour, so it's more or less uh, charged. Uh, uh, and uh, as you can see on the readout here, uh, the cell temperature settled, settled uh, cell voltage settled about 16.5 uh, volts, so uh, that, that's basically uh, how, it, how it looks like. And now what I want to check is what would really happen if uh, for example I decided to overcharge the cell and connect it, it again to the charger and to do that I c and, and show you what will happen I connected the uh, the multimeter to the voltage uh, this is the temperature of the cell over here and uh, well let, let's let's start uh, let, let me just put a timer here and uh, let's try and charge it. Okay, so th this should make this uh, video a lot more interesting in case this catches fire. As you can see, it started to charge over here. We have an in increase of voltage and let's wait and see what happens. Uh, this temperature may not be uh, perfectly 24 uh, degrees Celsius, but uh, well, it, it's just an estimate because uh, this reading isn't as precise as I would want it to. Okay, so 18 volts, so after about 8 minutes of charging the second time and uh, it only reached about 3, uh, three degrees more so that's not, not that really significant by, but keep in mind that 18 volts is the maximum voltage per cell in case of those uh, batteries so uh, you should never exceed that but yeah we are doing the testing here so I will and we will wait at least uh, until if if this won't cut out the biased resistor and I won't notice here a huge uh, increase in temperature like 60 degrees or something like that so I will wait until 20 volts 
maybe 20 and a half like last time it, it failed and uh, well I will see what will happen next minute mark according to my more or less ballpark calculations the cell reached about 2.2 uh, amp hour uh, it's its capacity so I, I charge it for an hour and now for 20 minutes so in total about 2.2 amp hour but at a much higher voltage so in in practice the uh, the, the, the power it holds it's it's a bit greater than that and it's currently at 40 degrees Celsius, so they are getting warm, nothing serious yet. But yeah, as you can see, it increases uh, much more uh, over time. I will keep uh, keep a look at, 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 at the temperature because that's what's important here. Okay, so it, it, it just dropped and it say it's charged. The temperature, okay, so we can stop this. The temperature stopped at 43.7 and it somehow reached the, the, the equilibrium. It's possible that uh, the thermal, uh, the, the thermal um, the sensor on, on, on in the cell uh, that I put between the cells informed uh, the the unit that well uh, the, the the charging temperature is yeah, more or less it's reached at the moment and just a quick check if it will trip out the uh, the thermal yeah so so the red LED will it be, yeah as you can see the temperature currently is too high to charge so this works really good and yeah, let me just disconnect it gently. <laughs> yeah, it worked better than expected. It reached 45 degrees, so I removed just now the, uh, this is the thermal sensor, and uh, at 18.5 or 7, something like that, in 20 minutes after charging. So this is completely fully charged cells. They're a bit warm, but as I said, they really reached their full capacity. And, and I that this is an amazing result because this charger is completely not for charging the cells. Uh, I checked the microphone and it didn't give, gave any sounds. It, it's it's pretty uh, well. They were quiet compared to the situation I had previously when they were ticking slowly. Uh, yeah, it, it seems all fine. So. I guess I will be discharging using the power drill to completely zero those cells and then charging it just once. So I will put just 1.7 amps uh, of uh, current for an hour. This is an unexpected result. So yeah, the, uh, I think the resistor are, I added help a lot. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's over here. Should be able to see. Let me bring the light here. You can see this is the resistor, and it's, it's across the uh, the the thermal sensor for the cell, so it uh, biases uh, the temperature, so it sends signal to the charger that the temperature is actually higher than it is. Let me quickly put a yeah, it, it, it should be able to see, hear the sound. Yeah. Yeah, but those cells may not work properly anymore, but they acted pretty correctly. For some reason this doesn't work anymore. Okay, I will check the leads later. But more or less, they are perfectly fine. Let me check with a drill, just quickly. 
and what will happen to the voltage. So, let me turn on the drill. Well, they are perfectly fine from what I can see. Yeah, it's still a bit high voltage, but it quickly dropped off. Uh, to 18 volts, so vaguely safe for those cells. Well, what, what does this teach me? Uh, never use cheap cells, always use proper, made by some, some real companies like Sony here or, or, or Panasonic, I guess. LG also makes a good cells. Never use charger that are not for the correct type of cells. Never do this at home. This is a bad idea and uh, well I guess guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed I will be testing this in a drill hopefully it will act just fine these are already unprotected cells because I, as you saw I removed the protection and uh, the uh, current inter interruption device and uh, hopefully they won't start burning in, on my shelf uh, by themselves but for now, I will keep them uh, outside in this tray, so in case something will happen, it, it will contain, the fire will be contained, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you like that, that kind of videos, please subscribe.